everyone, I'm Nathan and welcome back to PSLE Math 2021 Paper 2 Question Series and today I'll be going through question 12. So let's get started. Okay, this question is actually a pretty difficult question for most students and today I'll be teaching how to solve it and this question is testing us on area and parameter and visual thinking. Okay, so the figure is made up of three rectangles. So this one over here, this one over here, and this last one over here. Okay, and a straight line drawn across the rectangles, so this straight line, divides the figure into two parts, shaded and unshaded. Okay, part A, the perimeter of the shaded part is 4 cm longer. Oh, okay. So the perimeter of the shaded is 4 cm longer and the perimeter of the unshaded. What is the length of AB? Okay, so let's see the perimeter of the shaded part first. So there's this line. Okay, let me just draw the outline of the shaded part perimeter first. Okay, this is the perimeter of the shaded part, okay? And this is the, let me show you the perimeter of the unshaded part. So the perimeter of the unshaded part is actually in green color right now. So this is the perimeter of the unshaded part. Okay, before that, I'm going to simplify this figure for you. So let me just erase the perimeter of the shaded. And let me simplify this figure for you. And it will make your life really easier. So this is a method my teacher taught me in primary school. And I think this will help you as well. So basically, in order to make the perimeter of a shaded part the same uh, and to make it look easier, I'm going to make this whole figure into one big rectangle. Okay. Okay. How can I do this? Why, why can I uh, make this whole figure into a rectangle? This is because this figure, I'm actually moving this whole line to here and I'm moving uh, this whole line over here, over here. And you see this below line over here, I'm actually moving it up and this below line, I'm moving it up. So now let me uh, highlight the new parameter. Okay, so as you can see, this parameter will actually be the same as the parameter I highlighted in the start. Because these lines are the only difference, but these lines are already uh, uh, moved up. So basically the parameter is now the same as before. Now it will make it uh, easier for you guys to look at it. Maybe let me just uh, erase the outer lines in, in the inner lines so that it's easier for you guys to visualize so basically this is the new parameter and this parameter over here is actually 4 cm longer than the green color parameter and how do we find out which part is longer so basically we are going to cancel out the things that are the same so like this line okay wait let me show you guys so everything that I'm going to highlight in orange is going to be the same. So like this line over here and this line over here, they are the same. So they cancel out each other. And these two lines over here are actually the same. And so they cancel out each other as well. And next, okay, so you see this line over here, this last line, this line is actually going to cancel out this part of the line so let me show you so it's actually going to cancel out this part of the line okay so can you see something now okay let me draw a line for you guys so that you might you can visualize so if you can see this line over here this line is actually separating the part which is longer so you see these two parts over here 
these are actually the excess uh, the, the excess parameter so both of these parts actually make 4 cm okay because these are the only two parts which are different from the from the below parts which are actually the same which are cancelling out each other so these two parts actually make 4 cm and in order to find the length of AB we need to find this part over here we need to find this this length over here and this length is actually really easy to find we just need to take 4 cm divided by 2 and it will give us 2 cm so 4 cm divided by 2 it will give us 2 cm and as for this length over here a b so a b is actually really easy to find we just need to uh, calculate the total length 7 cm plus 3 cm plus 3 cm so of this one side the total length of this one side is actually 3 plus 3 plus 7 which will give us 13 cm and in order to find the length of a b we just need to take 13 cm minus the 2 cm which is excess on the top so length of a b 13 cm minus 2 cm which will give us 11 cm and this will be the answer for part a okay so i hope you understood that now let's do part b so part b they are asking us what is the area of the shaded part okay let me just erase all of this so that you guys can see okay what is the area of the shaded part okay the shaded part is this part over here this line so if you realize something the shaded part is basically these three rectangles over here these three rectangles over here so the shaded part in order to find the area of the shaded part you need to check the three rectangles minus this triangle the area of the unshaded which is the triangle area of unshaded which is basically the triangle so now that we know the length of ab which is 11 we can find the uh, so basically what i'm going to do is to find the area of the unshaded part which is the triangle and you know the, the 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 formula for finding the area of the triangle is basically half times base times height so let me write that down so half times base times height so the height is 11 and the base is 2 cm plus 4 cm plus 8 cm so which will give us 14 cm so half times base 14 times height 11 which will give us 77 cm square as the area of the unshaded and now we are going to find the area of these three rectangles in total so you know area of rectangle is just um length times breadth so basically i'm going to take 3 times 2 so let me erase erase the highlighted part and write down the 3 times 2 part so basically these two lines these two lines and these two lines in order to find the area so this is the land this is the breadth land breadth land and breadth so now we just need to find area of small rectangle, medium rectangle, and large rectangle all added up together. So area of three rectangles. So this is the small one, this is the medium one, and this is the sorry, it's going opposite. So this is the large one. Okay. Large, medium, small. So large one is actually 8 cm times 13 cm and small one uh, sorry medium one is actually 4 and 6 cm and the small one is just 2 cm and 3 cm so now you just need to add up all of this together and it will give us 134 cm square so in order to find the area of the shaded part we just need to follow this three rectangles minus area of unshaded so we have the area of three rectangles, uh, the, the area of three rectangles, and we also have the area of the unshaded part. So what I'm going to do is to take this answer, 
minus this answer. So 134 cm square minus 77 cm square. So area of shaded part 134 minus 77, which will give us uh, the answer of 57 cm square. So uh, this is the answer for part B and this uh, 11 cm square is the answer for part A. And I do hope you understood my explanation for this question on area and perimeter. Thank you and goodbye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.